Hi, this is Amy from the Alti Store. I want to show you the new grid tie inverter from Solar Edge. Now, those of you who have been in the industry for a while remember the old uh, inverters with the transformers, and they were big and heavy. They took two strong people to mount them up on the wall. And then they came out with transformerless inverters, which really cut the weight dramatically. For instance, this 3,800 watt transformerless inverter weighs about 47 pounds. Well, introducing the new Solar Edge HD Wave. This is about 25 pounds. It's amazing. These are both 3800 watt inverters. Check out the size difference. So, this uses um, the di digital processing to create a high definition HD sine wave. And instead of relying on magnetics to smooth out the sine wave, and then cooling in, in order to remove all of the heat caused by the magnetics. This is using digital processing. So it's going to be 16 times less magnetics in here. So you don't have to deal with all that cooling. So we've got this smaller, we've got it cooler, we've got very high reliability. So instead of using electrolytic capacitors, which used to be the weak link in inverters, they're using thin film capacitors for incredible reliability. And over 99% efficiency. So this is an amazing leap forward in inverters. So um, it's, as I said, really small, 25 pounds. It has integrated arc fault protection as well as rapid shutdown, so it's, it's uh, NEC compliant, both 2014 and 2017. Because it was designed, as the other solar edge inverters, to use the DC optimizers, it's got your module level shutdown, it's got your module level um, monitoring. So let's just uh, put this down, take a look inside, and take, take a peek. All we need is an Allen wrench to open this up, so let's take a look inside. Okay, so you see we've got our integrated DC disconnect on the front. So if we zoom in, we can take a real good look here. We've got our DC disconnect for the input. You can have one or two strings from the solar coming in here. It's got a nice watertight gland to get the, the wires in. And then uh, you've got your DC plus and DC minus. If you're only doing one string, you would just use one of each of these connectors. If you're doing two strings, you would do your, your minuses and your pluses, each, each on here. This, this combines them. National Electric Code does not require that you have uh, overcurrent protection if you're just doing one to two strings. As long as you size your wire correctly, you're able to just go straight from the solar array into here. Then you've got your AC out. It's got line one, line two, and neutral. It's 208 volts or 240 volts, depending on which you need. We've got our grounding bus bar over here. So that's really it. It's a really simple installation. You would, you would take your DC optimizers and you mount them to the racking behind the solar panel. That protects it from direct contact with, with the weather. Uh, the solar panel is going to shade it and protect it from rain. Uh, but they are outdoor rated, so they're designed. They're very, very reliable. They're designed to be installed outside behind the panels. So you would mount this to the panel. You would take the connectors that are on the solar panels, your plus and your minus. You would connect it to the optimizer. And then you take the plus from, from one of the optimizers to the minus of the other optimizer. You wire them in series. And you would have them all connected right along. You'd have this plus to the, the one beside it. So you'd have a long string of solar panels. And again, you can do one or two strings. And these have, uh, have longer string sizing. So you can have up to... Uh, on the 3,000 watt, you can have up to 4,650 watts in, and on the 3,800, you can have up to 5,900 watts in installed. So this allows you to have a higher DC to AC ratio, so in less than ideal situations, you're going to be outputting more. Um, if you do hit that 3,800 watts output, you will clip, and you will, it, the output will cap at that. 
But uh, in areas where you've got less than, than ideal weather, uh, it's often very common to greatly oversize the, the DC going in so that you can have greater AC output at, at uh, more times throughout the year. Now because this is NEMA 3R, you can either install it inside or outside depending on what works best for you. If you do install it outside, it's recommended that you have it protected from the weather. So have some sort of a, maybe just a little roof over it. Um, maybe installing it on the north side of the house to keep it out of the direct sun. So uh, whatever works best for you, it's generally, if you install it outside, it's generally by the, the meter. So wherever that is, if you can't protect it from direct exposure, just build a little, a little roof or something just to, to keep the, the rain directly from falling on it. All right. So this will communicate uh, with, with the internet uh, via RS-485 or Ethernet. Um, you can optionally use a Zigbee connection or a cellular connection if you don't have Ethernet nearby. So this allows you to do your remote monitoring, module level monitoring. So that is just a quick little look inside the, the Solar Edge SE 3800HD. Um, larger inverters are coming out. The, they'll be having a 5000, a 6000, and a 7600 watt inverter. But right now, the 3000 and 3800 watt are available. All right. I hope this was helpful. If so, give us a like and a share. And be sure to uh, subscribe to our channel so that we'll send you information when we've got new videos coming out. And don't forget to go to our website at altstore.com, where we've been making renewable doable since 1999.